Full Blast 5 Module 1A Let's Meet Up and now we are on pages 6 and 7 Let's Meet Up What does the title mean? When you meet meet up with someone that means you you come together with him okay meet up means come to come together with someone one read a discuss question one do you talk with your friends on the phone a lot do you talk with friends very often a lot very often on the phone maybe yes you do or maybe no you don't what do you talk about what subject what topics do you mention when you talk with your friends on the phone maybe you talk about a match that you saw last night maybe you talk about uh, things that happen at school or maybe you talk about the latest the newest video games the newest video games in stores do you think having a mobile helps you make plans when going out plans means like when you arrange for something that is you are planning for something for example you want to meet up with your friend so you call him to arrange that is making plans so do you think having a mobile phone just like these guys here in the pictures will that help you make plans when you want to go out personally I think the answer is yes why Because that helps a lot you call your friend you tell him to meet up with you somewhere or that is you are going to pick him up at a certain ta time so that can help a lot otherwise without calling people using a mobile uh, things can get messy maybe you will go to pick him up and he will tell you that he cannot go out with you things happen right okay so maybe yes I do if you think that mobiles help or no you don't B look at the pictures these are the pictures look at them and guess guess means give an answer without knowing if your answer is correct or incorrect that doesn't matter okay what do you think is happening look at the pictures what do you think is happening now I don't want you sitting back and just listening to me I want you to make a guess make your mind work what do you think is happening here in these pictures okay I will start by making guesses myself maybe these three guys here are friends the one wearing blue the one wearing red and the one wearing green these three boys are friends and maybe they are calling each other to meet up because the title of the lesson is meet up and because of these questions in the discussion section is all about calling friends and meeting up so maybe they are calling each other to meet up with each other this boy right here wearing red seems to be uh, searching right maybe he lost something and he's trying to find it okay and this boy right here seems to be working on a laptop maybe um, he has some work or maybe this guy right here is asking him for a favor maybe he's asking him to search for some information on the internet maybe okay uh, from this picture we can see that maybe in the end they all agree to see each other because they all are together and they seem to be in a, some kind of a park because of the trees in the background now listen to the dialogues dialogues means people talking listen to the dialogues and check 
see if our guessing is correct or incorrect. Ready? <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to play a recording for you. I want you to listen to this recording and read with it. Read along. Okay, keep following here. It's very important. Okay? Hello, Ali. Hi, how's it going? Fine. Do you want to do something? Maybe come round my house or... Sorry, I'm a bit busy with my ICT project at the moment. I finished mine yesterday. What are you doing tonight? Nothing much. Why? Let's go to the park. We rarely go there and it's beautiful. Sure, why not? Let's ring Tom and ask him to come along. I can't get hold of him. What do you mean? Well, I called, but he isn't answering. That's strange. Oh, well. Let me try his landline. Hello? Hi, Tom. What are you up to? I'm looking for my mobile. Now I get it. That's why you aren't answering your phone. Yeah, I can't find it. I think it's in my brother's car. But he broke his phone, so I can't reach him. You lost your phone and your brother broke his. What are you two like? I know. Listen, do you fancy going to the park later tonight? That would be great. How about asking Ali? Yes, he's coming. I just talked to him. OK. Let's meet there at 8 o'clock. <coughs> OK, now it's my turn. I will read this dialogue again and try to explain what these words inside boxes mean. These are words and expressions. Now, do yourself a favor. I will give an Arabic translation or Arabic meaning for these expressions. Don't wait for the Arabic to appear. Make your mind work. Read the whole sentence or question and read the one following it and this will help you figure out the meaning yourself without using the Arabic okay it's very important make the Arabic your last line of defense the last choice okay hello Ali hi how's it going fine this Ali asked how's it going and Bill answered fine so what do you think the meaning of this yeah it's very clear it means how are you do you want to do something? Maybe come round my house? Come round my house, like come and come and see me. Come to my place. Sorry, I'm a bit busy with my ICT project at the moment. I'm a bit busy. Busy means I'm not free. I am working on something. That's the meaning of busy. A bit means not much. I mean a little. I am a little busy, I'm a little working on something. With my ICT project, what is the meaning of ICT and what does ICT stand for? It stands for Information, Communications, Technology, Project. Project is like some sort of a homework, okay? Which is basically for computer subject at school. At the moment, like now. I finished mine yesterday. What are you doing tonight? Nothing much. Why? Let's go to the park. We rarely go there and it's beautiful. Rarely means not a lot, not very often. Okay, we rarely go there means we hardly. We don't do this very often and it's beautiful sure why not let's ring Tom and ask him to come along let's ring Tom ring him means make his phone rings means let's call him okay let's call him and ask him to come along come along means come with us like for example I tell you that I'm going to the supermarket why don't you come along 
why don't you come along? I'm going to the supermarket. Maybe you you need some stuff from the supermarket. So come along it means come with me. I can't get hold of him. I'm trying to call his phone, but he's not answering. So I can't get hold of him it means I can't reach him. Not physically, but on the phone. What do you mean? Well, I called, but he is not answering, or he isn't answering. Answering, we know that whenever there is a question, then there is an answer, right? What does answering here mean? When you call somebody on the phone and he is not picking up, so he is not answering you. He is not picking up the phone. That's strange. Oh well, let me try his landline. Landline is the opposite of mobile phone. That's the conventional phone. This is a picture of a landline phone, not a mobile phone. Hello. Hi Tom, what are you up to? What are you up to means what are you doing at the moment? Are you planning to do something? Up to, I mean, are you planning to do something? I'm looking for my mobile. Now, when you look for something and when you look at something, it's very different. I'm looking at you means my eyes are fixed on you. But I'm looking for you, that means you are lost. I can't find you, so I'm looking for you. Okay, look at and look for, very different. This Tom is looking for his mobile, because his mobile is lost, it can't be found. Now I get it, means, okay, look for, not look at. Now I get it, now I understand. That's why you aren't answering your phone. That's why you are not picking up the phone. Yeah, I can't find it. See? He can't find it. It's lost. This is why he is looking for it. I think it's in my brother's car. But he broke his phone, so I can't reach him. I can't reach him. See? I can't reach him. This is the same as I can't get hold of him. The same thing. Get hold of him can't reach him, the same thing. Bill, you lost your phone and your brother broke his? What are you two like? Like you two are the worst. You lost your phone and your brother broke his? That means you two are very bad. How come that you both one of you loses his phone and the others breaks his. So you two are unbelievable. This is the meaning of this. What are you two like? That means you two are unbelievable. I know. Listen, do you fancy going to the park later tonight? Do you fancy means would you like to do that? Do you fancy coming out with me? It means would you like to come out with me? That would be great. How about asking Ali? Yes, he is coming. I just talked to him. Okay, let's meet there at 8 o'clock. Okay, let's answer these questions. C and D on pages 6 and 7. C can be found on page 6. Exercise D can be found on page 7. Look at the expressions. What is the meaning of expressions? Expressions means not just a word. It's actually a group of words. Just like these. How's it going? It's not just one word. It's a group of words. Together, they give a certain meaning. How gives a meaning. It gives a meaning. Going gives a meaning. But you do not translate these word by word. You translate the whole expression as a as a group, okay? 
1 to 6 from the dialogues and match them with the meanings A to F. 1. How is it going? Remember, it means how are you? How are you? Come along. I'm going to the supermarket. Would you like to come along? It means come with me, right? F. Go somewhere with somebody. I'm calling Ali, but I cannot get hold of him. It means I can't reach him. He's not picking up. Contact or find somebody. I can't reach him. I can't find him. He's not answering his phone. What are you up to? What are you planning to do? What are you doing at the moment? What are you doing at the moment? I get it. Now I get it. I understand. What are you like? When you do something stupid, I tell you that. What are you like? That means... What's wrong with you? You you're not okay. D re, this exercise D is on page seven, okay? On the top of page seven, read the dialogues again and write T for true and F for false. Ali has finished his ICT project. Ali has finished his computer homework. Is that true? N uh, yes. He finished it yesterday. Bill doesn't want to go out later. False. He would love to go out with his friends, Ali and Tom. The boys don't often go to the park. Well, they said that they rarely go out there. Remember? They said rarely. Rarely means not very often, not a lot. So this one is true. Four. Ali tried to ring. Ali tried to call Tom on his mobile. That is true. Tom broke his mobile. False. Tom lost his mobile. His brother broke his. Uh, uh, Tom told Bill to meet him at the park. Is that true? Yes, it is. Thank you very much for watching this video. Now I'll leave you with all the words with their definitions in English and meaning in Arabic.